Hi everyone, it's Holly and Marie King, and we are back with the Emblem Knights Rough Draft, and we are on Chapter 11, Drowning Your Sorrows. Let's get started. Chapter 11, Drowning Your Sorrows. That was short. <laughs> Yuri's stomach growled louder than before. Oh man, I should have had breakfast before I left, or maybe even some money. She's saying she should eat some money, guys terrifying. She whined as she rubbed her hungry belly. She knew the path to the town of Sorrows pretty well. Her parents used to buy their liquor. <laughs> I don't know how to spell liquor. From the town, and Yuri had to make trips there often. The town was dedicated to make sure drunks and people who were low on their luck could just stay out of human society. One good thing about the people of the town were quite generous if you caught their fancy quite well. That, and they just wanted someone's shoulder to cry on. But, if she could eat because of it, she would do almost anything. That sentence made no sense. <laughs> but I know what I meant to say. That was a half a day, day's walk, and Yuri knew it well. She still didn't want to think about how far she had to go on an empty stomach. Oh man, I should have eaten before I left, she cried. Young lady, are you hungry? An old peddler asked as he passed her on the road, because for some reason random peddlers want to offer you food. Yes, but I have nothing to trade for it, Yuri told the old man. Look, I have enough food to tide me over till I get to the next town, so take this piece of bread. He held it out for her. Yuri looked at the old man skeptically. Why offer a stranger food? She asked, backing away from the man. She kept her eyes on him. No, thank you, she said. The old man waddled, waddled, <laughs> can't read either, over to her and put the bread in her hands. Take it. You'll need your strength if you're going that way. The bandits there will take, your, take you prisoner. I can't read. He walked off murmuring to himself. Yuri waited till the old man passed around the bend in the road to scarf down the bread. She was... <laughs> so stay ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you write in the notepad of your story. When you're writing your story, your words are jumbled. To go at least a little longer with this small amount of food in her belly. Though the bandits concerned her, she was determined to make it to the town of sorrows, bandits or no. When the town came into sight, tss, she saw the place where the bandits stood. They were pushing around a drunk with blonde hair and green eyes. Let's see if luck is on my side. She approached the man, the men carefully. Hey, there's a girl approaching, a man shouted. Yuri didn't even have time to react. She was grabbed by both arms and brought down the path to the bandits at a faster pace than she wanted to go. Let go of me, Yuri shouted, trying to struggle out of the men's grip. When she was close enough, she yelled at the drunk. Is your name Alex? I just thought, your name's Alex, right? Hi, let's go. What's it to you? The man asked, looking at the girl with watery red eyes. I thought he had green eyes. I've been sent to find a man named Alex, Yuri said, still trying to wiggle out of the men's grasp. So are you him or not? No, I'm Alex, the young man said from the darkness. He had a beer bottle in one hand and a dagger in the other because that is the best way to fight. Come out of the darkness, one of the bandits said, pulling out a dagger himself. Or I'll cut this pretty little girl. Let me go, Yuri demanded. How could it be a fair fight if you keep me like this? I'll show you what pain is. The bandits laughed. Big talk for such a wee wimp. If you truly wish to make this a fair fight, then break out of that hold yourself, the man with the dagger said. So who's fighting whom? The drunk asked, staggering about. Why don't you take a seat, Gold, before you fall over, Alex said from his position in the shadows. Sure. Gold sat down right where he stood. Get out of here, you drunk. One of the bandits have moved to kick Gold. That's when Alex stepped out of the shadows and tripped the guy. What in the world? Swor I said Searle. <laughs> don't you dare touch that man, Alex told the bandit. Yuri looked the drunk over. Grungy was a nice way to put how he looked. He looked as though he'd been drinking for the two years the group had been separated. He had a beard, I'm supposed to say a beard, that made him look 40, and his hair looked like spaghetti. It's supposed to look like dreadlocks. That, that, was, my, that was my goal, make it look like dreadlocks. His once pure white shirt looked like it had been pulled off of a sailboat, and his brown pants smelled ghastly. His boots were just as bad as his pants. Get him, the bandit leader ordered. He gestured with his dagger at Alex. With the men distracted, Yuri moved her bare feet about and kicked but why would you have bare feet men holding her in the nuts they let go of her to roll around on the ground in pain so now what it's a fair fight yuri told the man stay out of this girl alex told her they are experienced fighters so what 
Yuri said, looking over at him. You're a drunk, she said bluntly. The bandit leader made a jab, jab, jab at her with his dagger. She sidestepped it, making the man fall forward. I won't even use my weapon, she informed the man. Not yet, anyway. Enough, the leader growled. Kill them all, but leave this wench to me. Yuri's mouth gaped open in horror as the bandit leader went to slit her throat. She sidestepped him the whole way. I can't believe you called me a slut. But she called, he called you a wench, not a slut, but okay. She kicked the man in the stomach. You really think you can kill me that easily? Gold, Alex shouted at his friend. Look out! Yuri looked over at the man sitting on the ground. Two of the bandits moved to kill him, and he only hiccuped at them. As she looked at the trunk, the bandit moved in to cut Yuri and stuck the knife into her throat. But nothing happened. Why didn't you die? the bandit demanded. Yuri grabbed the dagger with her hands. It crumbled at her touch. Is this made of dirt? she asked the bandit. Are you an emblem knight? she asked, disgusted. Shh! They'll hear you, the bandit leader said, looking around as though someone was ta about to attack him. Mike, I don't feel so good, Gold said from the ground. Everyone, take cover! The bandit leader shouted at his men, followed the order almost immediately. Come on, Alex grabbed Yuri's arm. Wait, oh, doesn't he need help? Yuri said, taking her arm out of his reach. It's your funeral. He hadn't seen Yuri's near-death experience, but that was the least of his concerns at the moment. With cat-like re cat -like reflexes, he jumped behind a boulder that was nearby. Yuri had the feeling that this man was about to let loose something that wouldn't be pleasant, but she wasn't about to back down. And the man hiccuped again. Better get lost, girly. I'm about to blow. Gold warned her. I'm aware of that, but I don't think I have a reason to be afraid. Yuri told him, squatting down so she was eye-level with him, and that's when he blew. Not throwing up or exploding into a thousand pieces. No, thousands of icicles erupted from him. The shards went right through Yuri. I have the feeling I am way in way over my head here. Well done, the senior advisor said. He showed up just as the shards start stopped flying. You've done well, Yuri. What do you want? Yuri's asked standing. Mike and Gold look worried and even Alex seemed afraid because we know Alex so well that we know he's not afraid of anything. Why, I want you, Yuri. <laughs> The senior advisor said, and your little brother, too. All right, wicked witch of the West. <laughs> I want you. And your little doggy, too. <laughs> what am I writing? Leave my brother alone, you murderer. Yuri finally said what she'd been wanting to say to this man for the past eight years. He will never get your hands on my little brother for as long as I have breath in my lungs. Was that so? The senior advisor asked. Dun, dun, dun. She's asking for trouble. <laughs> All right, but anyway, that's the end of chapter 11. We will be moving on to chapter 12 next time. I think I've been saying next week. I don't, I literally record these whenever I get a chance. <laughs> Just in case, you know, life is crazy. But yeah, anyway, if you guys are interested in this book, I will put all of the links to buy it in the description below, which is only one because you can only buy it on Amazon, but whatever. But yeah, anyway, if you're interested, great. If not, oh well, we'll just enjoy reading it alongside each other. Right? Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye!